News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here with the 11 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network, a market update. And don't forget, go to the front page of TFNN to see the fantastic Tiger dollar sale going on for any subscriptions that you might want to be uh, buying or any any uh, any of the services here at TFNN. The Dow is up 344, 35,275. Uh, so far, it's full of the gap in from Friday into Monday's uh, gap down open. Sharp moved to the 34,715 level, and now it is at 35,424. Uh, nice, uh, a very nice bounce. Uh, but it needs to climb above the 9 and 14 period moving averages, the resistance at 35,420s, and it should do it within today's Tuesday. By Wednesday afternoon, Thursday, at this time when I do my show Thursday, we should be talking about the Dow at the 36,500 level, and then we'll be looking to see when does it turn around or if it turns around to complete this H pattern on the way down. In the meantime, the S&P uh, is lagging a little bit. It's still doing okay, but it is lagging the Dow. It is up. 25 points at 45.94. It has 46.29 as a very strong resistance level. It better hold 45.74. Otherwise, that's a real problem. And if you're looking at the QQQ, it gave up a chunk of the gains. It's trying to get some of it back to now. It's up $1.28 at 381.95. But it needs to climb to the 80. Uh, 387s to be able to show that it has really strong uh, internals. At this point, the internals are actually quite weak. So I'm watching this one a scan. So I think there's a problem uh, with the uh, index 100 IWM. Really strong move to the upside, uh, but it's had a really sharp decline in the H pattern. It's gone from 244 back in the November uh, to the 212 level just recently. Then it tries to rally now. Uh, yesterday went to 209. This is really not very good action. Gold has been trying to rally, but it's very difficult for it to hold. It's now down 8 at 1786. Oh, I never did the dollar earlier in my show. The Tiger Technicians are holding very well near the highs at 96.54. And if you're looking at crude oil, crude oil. Um, is holding quite nicely up a dollar sixty-seven at seventy twenty-eight, but it's kind of stuck in the range. I wouldn't be surprised if this lowercase H in the daily turns into a lowercase M as it just goes sideways. It's the big talk for me is the TLT. The TLT plunged to the downside one sixty-three down at one forty-eight. Wow, if it closes under the, the 200 period moving average of 147, that's a big problem. Now, stay tuned. You've got Larry Pesavento coming on. Great programming all day. Don't forget, check out the Tiger Dollars. And of course, don't even have to tell you, check out Larry Pesavento. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow.